In the spring, baseball season begins. Let's check out a Little League baseball team on the first day of practice. As soon as school is over, the team meets outside. To warm up, the players throw a baseball back and forth. They begin throwing the ball softly. Gradually, they throw it faster. That takes more energy, so the boys are getting good exercise. The coach tells the players how to use the entire body to give the ball more energy. When the players try out these ideas, they notice that they can throw the ball faster than before. Next, it's time to practice batting. The coach gives them some tips. He tells the players that the ball first gets energy from the pitcher. The batter then uses the bat to transfer more energy to the ball. The coach says that batters use their body to give energy to the bat, and the bat then gives energy to the ball. In the collision, force from the bat pushes on the ball and changes the way the ball moves. At the same time, force from the ball pushes on the bat. Players can feel it when the bat hits the ball. The team gets ready to practice batting balls thrown by a pitcher. They put on special gear to keep them safe in case they get hit by a ball. The batter wears a batting helmet and another player wears a face guard. A fast ball transfers a lot of energy to anything it hits, including a person. Players can get hurt by a ball, especially if they get hit in the head. The coach explains that batters can make the ball go faster if they swing the bat faster. A faster swing transfers more energy to the ball. With these tips in mind, a player stands ready to bat. The pitcher winds up his body and throws the ball with a lot of energy. When the batter sees the ball coming, he starts to move his whole body to swing the bat. With a big motion, he swings as fast as he can. Wham! The bat hits the ball, and the ball goes flying across the field. The team thinks this is going to be their best season yet.